everyone. This is your host, Jeremy Michael, with another episode of Make That Bloody Movie with Coffee. And tonight we got Pseudo and Trippy E. Trippy E. Trippy E. They're going to be talking about their second Street Stories album that's coming out in in two weeks or. No, it? we're. Uh, it's coming out. We're probably going to put it in the later part of May. The later part of May. It's not that soon. We're going to be releasing the single too. Okay, okay, and it's coming straight out of the record label, Drop House, everyone. So tonight, Trippy E is going to introduce himself. Last time you guys heard every, heard from Vincent Heckelman, pseudo the, pseudo the guy. So uh, I know I'm a little tongue-tied. Excuse me for that. I had a smoke tonight, but I know the guys have. Maybe I need some. But, uh, you know, Trippy E is going to introduce himself. He's going to talk about who he is, where he came from, and what he's all about. All right, take the floor, Trippy E. Tell everybody who you are. All uh, right, so my name is Eddie. I go by Trippy E. Little. No, sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, so I was born and raised in New Jersey. Lived here all my life. Uh, grew up in Highlands. Yeah, man, you know. Get a little closer to the mic, Trippy. You right. sounded yeah, fade yeah. away in the uh, back. Right. That, that's, that's just the right, place so, on the mic. My name's Eddie. I go by Trippy. I was born and raised in New Jersey. Uh, I'm 34 years old, you know. I grew up, you know, kind of in a defunction kind of household. Like bouncing back and forth. So, okay. uh, I'm an ex-addict. I'm like a year and like four or five months sober. So, I like to try to spend like how to you know. I came from such a negative life Wow, so so that's pretty cool, Trippy. You so pretty much you came from a dysfunctional family and you found music as your My outlet. Your outlet. Oh nice, nice. So like, okay, so um my question is, how did you come up with the name Trippy? Honestly. Mm-hmm. I can't tell you, it just came to me. Like I said, wow. it's weird. Oh no. Were you sometimes <laughs> you know. Sometimes it just, I don't know, it's weird. Yeah. Trippy. Like, Sometimes I space out a lot. Yeah, you know? Okay. So, like, I just trip out. So, yeah. And then that's how the yeah. that's how the name was formed, huh? That's how Trippy was born. Wow, that is something. So, have you, uh, you like New Jersey or? Yeah, man. Like, you know, I've been down in Florida for like years. I don't know. I'm not down here. Okay. Know. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I mean, so you, you have like, any brothers and sisters? Uh, yeah, I uh, I got one uh, one sister, uh, two step brothers. Wow. Yeah, that's about it though. You're the middle child or the or the nah, younger child? Nah, uh, me and my sister aren't from the uh, same dad. We got different fathers. Oh, okay, okay. But you're the oldest or the youngest? I'm the youngest. I'm 34. Ah, okay. All right. So, uh, how many um? So this album that Vincent sent me, was Pseudo sent me, that's your latest album that you're working on? Yeah, that's yeah, that's ours. Okay, nice, nice. I see uh, Pseudo, you're looking kind of young there, man. You had no, no. Uh, I saw the album, you clean shaved and everything. I didn't uh, recognize you there for a minute. I, I was, what, 50, 60 in that photo? Oh, you that photo? <laughs> yeah. You that one? Yeah, second two stories. Yeah, yeah. Oh lord. Yeah, so that that's that's a throwback. Yeah, that day was yeah. crazy. <laughs> you know that me and Trippy literally got into a fight right there in that telephone booth, right in front of the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fish hook me, right? No, not that one. What one? The one where we were fighting, where you just punched my hand into the telephone booth. Yeah, because you fish hooked me. I didn't right know my, it was yeah, right my cheek. All right, well, whatever. All right, so you're just like punching my head into the wall. My head's like bouncing off of it. And then, like, that's why I fish hooked you. After you did it like six times, that's what I had to get out. I yeah. fish hooked you, got and your face got out. Domino's. And I beat, well, I didn't beat you. We kind of yeah. fought down to the ground and wrestled. And then we got Domino's. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Yeah, we, we ate Domino's. 
But, oh, yeah. So you had Domino's afterwards. Like, oh, you know, are you hungry? I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah let's get Domino's. Know, yeah, it's fine to be, like, mad, but... Like, <laughs> Handle your problem. Yeah, it wasn't like, you know, face <laughs> or something like that. It's like, you know, it's, it's there, you can handle it now, then you go, Who? still be fine. That's, that's awesome. Who took the picture? Um, Tom had to Tom have. Tom might have had to. Tom <laughs> had to have. <laughs> so he wanted evidence. I gotta remember that this happened. Let me take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. What? That, uh, hey, but it's full of stories. People yeah, love to hear yeah, stories. Yeah. That's the best part, man. They're not fabricated, you know what I mean? You know, exactly, because you got you got witnesses. Yeah. <laughs> so what what was the pizza you had that day? Pepperoni? Oh, I got yo. bacon because I used to be like 300 pounds. So, yeah, you know. he used to weigh the same he weighs now. <laughs> then. Just shorter. Like, <laughs> <I got that. laughs> it's like you got all the weight and didn't get all the height yet, and then all the height came. <laughs> It was like, oh, this weight's here for a reason. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like, uh, that's just why I called it weight. Like, getting yeah, weight. Yeah. It always plays out. I guess. I don't know. So, so here's. I didn't ask you this last time, Pseudo. What. How did you come up with the name Drop House? I don't think I asked you that. <laughs> I'll say that story one day. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, everyone, we will stay tuned for that one. Um. So then, uh, I guess uh, since this is so, go ahead, Vincent. Tell everybody what you've been up to with Trippy and um, what you've been working on. Your latest album. I know Second Street is one of them. If you got anything else that you can share with the fans and let them know, you know. All right. Uh, just we kind of been like working on music and chilling out and doing what we got to do, getting shit done. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a lot of music. A lot. Wow. Uh, I haven't been putting stuff out every month, and I know the last time I was here, I said I put stuff out every month. Right. Um, there's a plan. There's a reason. It turned into a bigger project than smaller projects, and yeah. quality is more important at certain times. So, I'm chasing that a little bit further with some of these that need it, and. I think we're making the right decision, and I hope you guys will appreciate it in the end. And I'm thanking everybody for their patience. Yeah. Where do you, uh, Suda? Where do you get your inspiration for most of your titles and videos? I get them from you. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I didn't expect that one. <laughs> Whoa, that's a curveball, everyone. But thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> nah, but seriously, uh, seriously. Uh, where, 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 do do get, get, where do I get a pro? Yeah. Um, just everybody I'm talking to. Like, you'll come, you, like, if I'm talking to you and you give me, like, a saying that just sticks to my head, I'm like, yeah, I like that. Okay. Okay. Like, I don't know. Kicking it. We were just kicking it. Yeah, we're like the song that we're gonna show on here, we're just kicking it. We're literally just sitting back and like putting our feet up. And, like, I don't know. I call it like an old school, like back and forth, but not like going back and forth, but going back and forth. I don't know. I'm yeah, overcomplicating it by talking about it. But I'm really trying to. Yeah, no, it's like just going back and forth. Like, well, like anything like eight bars, three bars. Uh -huh. You know, going back and forth is kicking it. Is that eight bars? No, I think so. You know, you know, trippy. Uh, I don't know if Suda told you this, but uh, the last time we had you on a conference call and we were talking to our other, other members, and we had a, uh, what's that word you use, uh, Suda? It was like, Mr. Shepard had a, uh, what was it, a shirt, a shirt, a shirt, you said the word, like, oh, oh. Shake down. Shakedown. And I and I said and I said to Sudo, you should create a song called the Shakedown. Shakedown, the Shakedown. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty dope. Yeah. Yo. Would you go aggressive on that? Would you want to just hit yeah. it like the Shakedown, the motherfucking Shakedown? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or do you want to hit it like hit it soft like the Shakedown, the Shakedown? <laughs> nah, more aggressive. It could be like more aggressive. A, 
It could be like a new club song. Eddie, know, Eddie, girls. Eddie, do it like you're aggressive. Ready? Go shake down, shake down. <laughs> That's not <laughs> your aggressive, Eddie. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, how's the coffee? How's the coffee been? Oh, the coffee's been good. I don't know if you guys are drinking coffee tonight. I oh. got water. Oh, yeah. oh, man. You didn't tell him, did you, Suda? No, I actually was just like signaling to him to go out in there to get the coffee from underneath the cabinet that we got. Because that's what I was trying to tell you a minute ago. Yeah. I just said that out loud because I got an opportunity to say it. <laughs> Are you drinking coffee? Uh, no. Uh. No. But I did today. I had a cup of coffee oh, today. Oh, so, well, hey, everyone. You know how we do towards the end of the show. And since our new guest, uh, Trippy, what happens in this show is that I tell the guests towards the end the coffee of the night since we're filming this at night and pretty much they stay around and they like to know what we're drinking so last time Vincent told everybody what he likes to drink but he kind of I was kind of getting excited because he said you guys were smoking which you are but also yes, yes. I figured you guys would come with a hot cup of coffee and you could share with everyone your favorite cup of coffee so usually that's what we do so uh, oh that's what that's what we're getting right now we're getting the coffee right now <laughs> for then for then this is not right, the, the, yeah, right. yeah yeah so yeah, that's why I took advantage of that moment. Think the other so, so Trippy, what's your favorite coffee? Uh, he's still not back yet. Oh, he actually went to get coffee. Yeah, out in the, the other room. Oh, there's coffee just sitting out there. We just have to grab it. Oh, I, I just don't know why it's <laughs> I... in a minute. Just a coffee bag. I, that's it. It was just a bag. Oh, so what it's kind of coffee? Just... Well, tell everyone what you like to drink. Well, what are you drinking tonight? Share with the you know. Um, I will in a minute. I have a special kind of one to talk about. I'm so sorry. Pumpkin spice? Um, Cinnamon and... Well, what, before we... Because I'm waiting to get the coffee over to me right now. Yeah. Um, just, a kind, just a coffee bag. Excuse, excuse us, everyone. We're having a little coffee technical day. Can we edit this out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can edit it out. No okay, okay. <laughs> it's good. It makes good, uh, good content. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, just so you know, um, Sudo did give me a sample of kicking it, so I will be playing it in a few minutes. Um, it's kind of weird. I will play it while we're talking, but the only problem is on my headphones, it sounds like it's really loud. So I don't know if it's really louder as we're speaking and then it'll over, you know. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, well, I'm telling everybody out there, they're like, ah, just play it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Yeah, what's, um, what's the coffee? <laughs> you told me to grab the coffee, bro. I thought you, I thought right, you meant this... make coffee. I was like, why am I gonna make right. coffee at ten o'clock? So at night? with uh, me and my wife, my wife does this. She does the Atlas Coffee Club. Oh which We wow. get coffee from all over the place, and this one's from Uganda. And there's, it comes with like a little card and everything, uh -huh. but. I, I don't know where the card is at this current moment. So, so we're not so what, what's the name of the coffee? What is it? It just says Atlas Coffee Club, and it's a Ugandan coffee. Oh, nice. Ugandan. Is it a smooth roast, or is it more like a robust? Probably like a more like a smooth roast. Nice. Yeah. nice you, it smells It smells of... Uh, <laughs> well, everyone, I'll have, I'll have Sudo uh, send me the information. I'll post it up when I upload this uh, segment. What kind of coffee is drinking? Like, is it Atlas? Uh, it's like my stuff, so you guys can go check it out. It's not open. Not plastic. Alright, so you, you gotta dig into it to get the smell of it, you know? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But you guys are drinking it, right? Or are you just smelling the brew? Uh, we're not drinking it right now. Oh, uh, you just got the back. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you actually made the coffee, you have it in front of you, and you have the bag. Next to you. Oh, no, it's just. <laughs> oh, shit. We could have played it off, too. Oh, we all were on the have. same page. Oh, that would have been some good improv. Uh, Miss Moment, that's time. Right. <laughs> there you go, another title, Miss Moments. Um, look, this guy's going to hold with titles. Oh, man. So, all right, everyone, I'm going to start to play the song Kicking It. Uh, you get to listen to it for a few minutes. I'm not going to play throughout all the episodes. Um, 
about the same time. And uh, once it's done, then we'll come back, you know, get some of the updates from some of the other albums we got in a couple of weeks. Trippy, we're uh, talking a little bit more about what he's working on, because I know him and Sue kind of do different. You guys, you do separate uh, writing or you write together? I guess that's separate. 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 Yeah. So, we'll get to feel hooks, hooks, m- hooks might blend at uh-huh. times. It might be like, yo, this is someone else's doing the hook or something. It might be like, we have someone singing on it. I wrote the hook, and then Eddie's doing the verse. Uh, yeah, but Eddie, Eddie's doing his verse. Like, like, yeah, well, can you share? I mean, after I play the music, can you share a couple of uh, the songs that you are working on and tell them where you get the inspiration from? Yeah, are you allowed to do that? Or? I can talk about some of the ones I have out yeah. currently, okay. and uh, I can talk about uh, uh, Vision's Love wouldn't be a bad one to talk about. It's got a lot of views. It's actually really kind of doing it really good. What about you, Trippy? He's on there. He's on yeah. Eleanor. He's also on Don't Worry About Me with me. Okay. He's yeah. on a few songs with me on those because we've kind of been friends for a while. Since childhood. Well, yeah, yeah. I, 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 that's awesome. I mean, you told me about the dominoes and the, you know. Like, if you think about it, like, in music history, you have, like, people who have been friends their whole life that work together. You got, like, Eminem and Proof. You got, like... Well, that's awesome. But then, you know, after we play the song, you tell everybody, like, how you guys met and okay. things you've yeah, uh, experienced. Good. All right, everyone. We're going to play Kicking It. Sit back, relax. Us guys are going to just chill, smoke, and get to hear the song. Young, but I'm still in this bitch. Lyrics genuine. I ain't doing this to get rich. I leave tracks barking like a ferocious bitch. I got these beats spazzing like a nervous twitch. All these raps been soaked, it's been basted. It's the shit that can't, can't be copied and pasted. People think it had, had to be written wasted. Not every word just felt, but damn near tasted. Recorded for those that are driven to achieve. And hoping those that are willing to believe. I'm waking up with nausea and no sick leave. Like I gotta get up, can't afford to be naive. I got no days off, so even when this shit pays off. I know those that fall off tend to fucking stay off. So right before I head off, I never ever nod off. And always be hungry like a young Bernie made off. Need y'all to bounce to this. Need you and your girl over there to slide them hips. I don't give a fuck, we dip, we dip. You know what I came to do? I'ma creep up, make these moves. Like hush, hush, if you're new, I don't trust, trust. But with these words, I'll bust, 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 bust. I know you heard of the turtle and the rabbit, so you better keep up. Cause the turtle don't win in this race, I'm a silly rabbit. My music leave you feeling like you picked up a habit. I'ma do what I need to do. Not everybody around wants you winning, you gotta see it through. Never let the haters know the next move. It's okay if they can't see the vision. They couldn't stand the heat, so they had to get up out the kitchen. You need to stop the bitching. Life's what you make it. Sir, in this world, I'ma take it. I'm not the type to fake it till you make it. I'm so divine, the mastermind. I'll leave you in the sands of time with this flow of mine. Pounding. It's been years in the making. <laughs> so you know what trip, there ain't no faking. That's kicking it. Mayday, mayday, hey everyone, I hope you. Oh. Hey everyone, I hope you like that song. It's called "Kicking It" by Pseudo and Trippy. And now we are back. They're gonna share a little bit about themselves and how they met. You know, they met over dominoes. So the rest is history. All right, all right, guys. Let everybody know how you guys met and what was the adventure between Pseudo and Trippy. So we met when we were kids. We were in a yellow, yellow jacket. Jack 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 right now, <laughs> I got this incredible Hulk thing in my hand that is absolutely amazing. It, you literally, it, you squeeze it and it shoots like these little plates around it. Alright. Absolutely amazing. Now, when we were kids. Yeah, I used to live with my dad, so I lived in Pennsylvania for a little while. So I used to come down to my mom's in the summertime. And uh, one day I was sitting out there, mind you, I was a little fat kid, you know. I had this big, you know, them old puff jackets. Yeah. Back in the day, uh-huh. I had a, a yellow one on. Right. I'm just sitting there, and then here comes Vincent walking down. 
he starts talking to me. And from there, I guess we just like locked in, like you know. So we locked we, in. We just knew. We were going like to that day us. happened and everything. It was like ding. We locked in. Nah, it, I mean it helps if you came from like silver past, you know. We were in a silver past. How yeah. old were we then? Young. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of like similar background. At that point, we're talking about similar backgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> and he did not talk about similar backgrounds. I was. <laughs> Third grade. Sorry, I just almost cursed there. Did I, did I actually say No, it's okay. You could curse. I okay. could put the episode explicit. Oh. Well. Uh, not. <laughs> make it radar. R. But go ahead. No, this is interesting. So, 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 so continue. So the shirt came off slowly. <laughs> 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 it was a dark evening. The sun was rising. <laughs> So, so you guys known each other since third grade, and then from third grade, you guys, you guys were in the same school all the way up to yeah. what, high school. Uh, I went. We went to different high yeah, schools. I went to Keyboard. And okay. He went. He went to go with his dad for some time, and uh, from there I went to college. He had any time. <laughs> it was a rocky bet. Anyway, I went through a rocky time. Like, okay. Okay. Um, I have the tiger. Gotcha. I just got the the little bullet that this incredible Hulk can shoots out, huh? taken out mm-hmm. so I can load it. It's dangerous. Man. Um. So, so, so this is it. This is fascinating because a lot of times people from childhood they kind of go the separate ways after a certain time. So, what would you say the key takeaway and tell everybody out there? what it takes to kind of keep that friendship going what what would you say that kept you guys saying you know yeah we're gonna stay together we're gonna do this we're gonna make it happen what 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 did it shared trauma wow sorry yeah it's not easy shared yeah. trauma yeah you gotta you don't want to trade it <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but i th- i think you know in the process of um going through a lot of uh trials and tribulations in each of your lives trials and tribulations. <laughs> you know and sharing those moments of you know and helping each other out through talking and, and conversing i think that's awesome that you guys lasted this long because a lot of times you hear stories with people like you know i had a i had a childhood friend all the way up until i would say 18 20 and then after that he we ghost each other and we kind of talked sporadically in 2020, 2021. He said he would link up, but you know, he became a teacher in Brooklyn and that was it. You know, and I never heard anything else again. So, you know, that's why I always find it fascinating. Like when I see guys, you know, people hang out and they've known each other since childhood. I always wanted to know how that was because I was more of a loner. So it was, it's interesting. We had a friend that was a part of the group that we don't talk to anymore. Yeah. Oh. Um, Oh, so there was more than more than one of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it would have been Tom, Tom would have been here with us. He would have been. Oh, I unplugged my headphones. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, we used to have this friend Tom back in the day. I used to see Tom. Oh, wow. Here. Yeah. Together all the time. Yeah, we we used to have fun. Uh, I at one point in time I thought about writing a movie about it, our childhood together. But it would have been like a, and I I. We're, you should. Yeah, I should be fine just talking about that's, it. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. But like an in, increase of energy, like on Cut Gems, but the humor of like a trippy uh, yeah. stoner film. Okay. And in what, uh, in what, Tommy's in that uh, story? No, not him. Not by name. Oh. <laughs> no one's by name in there. It well, was just inspired by our childhood. It is not written about our childhood. No, I think it's awesome. I think it, it sounds like uh, that movie. Uh, you ever seen Without a Paddle? Yeah. Yes. 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 That's what yeah. it sounds like it's to me when you like talk. That. It would be more, yeah, like that, but more like Pineapple Express mixed with that. Got it. Perfect. I totally yeah. get what you're saying. That's what, well, you guys should start writing it. I mean. Yeah, yeah. We could start, mm-hmm. we could start by using our inspiration to write it out. Mm-hmm. You guys remember when you guys put 
<laughs> okay, so we're kids, and this <laughs> this motherfucker is like a curse. So I'm kind of doing hurt that. No, go ahead. He got, he got hurt in football, right? Yeah. Right. And, and I ended up getting like a butt infection somehow because I had to cut my knee and didn't know about it. So I had a pig line running in front of my uh, arm with my main artery. And oh, wow. Him and Tom, you know, me, around. Me, me and this other person. Yeah, me and this other person. We all be around. Decided to push me. Hey, let's do jagged. So, <laughs> Jackass just came out. It was all yeah, over the TV, so everywhere. You know, and you remember tracks. how it was? Like MTV had it on loop everywhere yeah, so, he would you know, go. You'd see. Wind me up and there I go. And we're using a little tiny camcorder. We found Tom's like mom's back room. Remember? It was like <laughs> right there. Yeah, it was a weird little camcorder. I went to Tom's. I had the camcorder. So you were recording? Is yeah. what you were saying? Yeah, we're recording it. There's a recording of it somewhere. We don't know where it is. <laughs> oh wow! You Yo, guys, I remember. You got... I remember going to the grocery store with you and your mom like a couple days later and learning how your mom says "alone." Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What did you just say? <laughs> my mom has a hard time saying "alone." So you uh-huh. go to the grocery store. <laughs> Are you serious? She she and, got a uh, pound every time. <laughs> <laughs> never a yeah. half pound, never a quarter pound, just a whole pound. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and but she th- never took multiples in ass either. It was a whole that time, too. It was two, three, four. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Tell them about all the lunch meat she used to get. You had a lot of lunch meat. Yeah, there's a lot of people in my house. I know. I, you, you're probably tired of baloney, man. I bet. Uh, <laughs> it's weird for another guy to say that. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, because as a kid, I used to eat a lot of bologna, and it, it sucks. Yeah, you know? It's just, yeah. It's just portable at the time. Yeah, no, I know. Trust me. My parents used to used to put that in my lunchbox. I couldn't stand it. I was like, come on. Can I get fried, something else? Fried bologna is the best. Fried bologna oh. is bomb. Fried you, bologna with some, just that American cheese that's so, like, cheap. When it used to be American <laughs> cheese, And it just, like, it, like melts on the sides instantly. Like you don't need heat to touch it, you just need warmth to touch it. <laughs> and it has yeah. a glossy plastic look to it. That cheese on it. I remember. I remember when I was fifteen. I did that with um, fried bologna on the, on the stove, and then my friend would use the iron to melt the cheese. Yo. <laughs> Yo. That was the first time I had that, and I had it mixed together, fried bologna with. It was really good, especially when. You know, when you're 15, 16, and you're getting high, and you got the munchies. It's not bad, but you know. Yeah. I think uh, the weirdest thing I ever did what? was uh, lettuce and barbecue sauce. L- lettuce and barbecue sauce. And barbecue sauce. You 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 like that, Trippy? Yeah. Lettuce and barbecue sauce. Yeah. I was left alone for like a week, <laughs> and it was just me there. And uh-huh. before I, before they left, my dad said, "Oh, I left the, some chicken in there. I never got to cook it. Cook it when you're, when you're gone." But me being the age I was and stoned, I wasn't gonna cook none of that. I was gonna figure it out by eating everything that's in the cabinet that's already cooked. So oh, wow. <laughs> I managed to make it through the week with that. And Eddie comes over because I'm throwing a, like a little party because I have the house to myself, and the party. Still to this day, I think everyone thinks it was a big party. There was like four of us there, maybe five. It was the most lamest thing in the world. <laughs> and, but we made it look so grand because we put like the strobe lights on, we had the speakers blast and everything. And we're like sitting up there, and Eddie like gets up to go out, go downstairs, and, pee, and he starts walking behind the fucking TV. What? <laughs> He's walking behind the TV. Do you remember how the TVs used to be back then? Like a big, the box. big box TV that, like, 
we found a 58 inch big box TV. You know how big that TV was. Yeah. And we found it on the side of the road. We brought it up in my room. We had it, and there was like, my brothers got into a fight one night and threw like a piece of stuff through it. So just the whole front end of the screen just cracked. And it's oh, like wow. the big plastic one. So it's just a crack <clears> screen. <throat> We're not even watching anything on it. There's a strobe light in the room. I have a computer set up in the, on the side, and it's like an attic. And there's a like, it is an attic. there's two windows on each side, but one of the windows is actually a door down. So he goes towards the back side where the TV is and starts walking behind it. I thought I walked downstairs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I could, see, I could picture that actually. <laughs> Wow, those are pretty good stories. I could definitely see that into a movie, actually. Oh, you, I know the weirdest thing I ever ate. What? Everyone else finds it weird, but we ate it because because my brother found it. Oh God! It was what was right. it? Tuna fish. Uh huh. Chef oh. Boyardee. Yeah. What? Tuna yeah. fish and Chef Boyardee mix the two together. Boom! Yourself. Mind blown. I just changed your life forever. You have a dollar <laughs> fifty. You got a meal. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> so honestly, don't complain about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, is it really that good? Yeah, it's really that good. It'll blow your mind. Okay, tuna fish and Chef Boyardee. All right. All right. I'll, I'll get. I'll take. I'll. I'll I have a mem. I'll, I got the memo. I'll try it next time, and I'll let you know how it tastes. Yeah. You know, pseudo the chef and Trippy, the uh, taster. <laughs> Trippy the taster. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Trippy. Oh, Trippy. So, <laughs> so guys. So the takeaway from all of this, what would you like to tell everybody, and let how to, how they could find you, what. Are you gonna come out with an album? Actually, actually, you just gave me an idea. Why don't you guys, this is just a thought, come out with an album that the two of you, each of you can sing your own verse of how you both met and ended with, I got the best, what you said Trippy was? The struggle food to taste yeah. is tuna and Chef Boardy. Create an album where you just kind of talk about your. Yeah, maybe we just make a single with Chef Bardet. Ah. Tuna and Chef Bardet. Yeah, and you could be yeah, Chef Bardet and, 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 and I could be Tuna. I'll dress up as a tuna fish and you dress up as Chef Bardet. <laughs> that would be tuna crazy. Chef Bardet. Yo. Alright, would... maybe we'll, we might fit something like That's that in there. We got some time still to build a finish. No, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I've, I I've think... totally have recorded like the best song for a project like the night before I put it out. <laughs> 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 like a lot. <laughs> Final was one of those. Final, we were like, it was, we were down to the clock with commitments. Yeah. Like, we were, we did that album in two weeks. Like, fucking two fast. weeks? Yeah. Oh, wow. The whole thing in two weeks. Got the beat sent over to us. We were like playing around with this guy over in Korea because he had like a whole bunch of beats and stuff. And I was trying to do features for people at the time. And when you're starting off, it's hard to convince people to let you do things with them. Just yeah. it, it, be patient, it comes. Just be patient. And it makes it easier when you can't work with other people. So please don't become dated from <laughs> Uh What's it called? We were like. I was so into that story that I got, I got the picture of this chapter. Right. Oh, we, we spent two weeks on that album, and we were like under the pressure, and it was coming down to the end of it. We'd go down to uh, by Atlantic City. I, my cousin had like a recording set up there, and we would go down there to record all the time. And we're down there, and we're like listening to the songs. We're all recording our own songs. Like, we're already moving on to the next project. Everything's done. I'm like, all right, it's a four song project. I'm like, five songs. And uh, he sends over that beat while we're there to play it. And that, those lyrics in my phone are saved as the smell of cigarettes. It was a writing assignment. Whenever I'm having a hard time writing, I usually like, I look around at people around me and I ask them, like, give me a random topic. Give me hmm. a random topic. Give me a random topic. You get weird things like Yellow Door and uh, Star on a House. And you 
you end up thinking of things off of things off of that. So this one was the smell of cigarettes. Someone gave me the smell of cigarettes in a little final. And I wrote about our vices and how they like try to control us at the end and stuff. But this one. Wow. So you guys are like. Because the next person I'm going to use is going to be a fun summer. So kind of a self summer. So if I gave you a topic, yellow glass, what would you do with that? I still remember the sun shining through that yellow glass. I would wait to see it come up so fast. Every single morning it was a blast. Waiting for it to hit that rug. Knew the warmth was coming in the house. The white snow sitting outside made it feel warm inside. I was waiting for the sun to rise. No electricity, but I had tears in my eyes. Oh. We got a sneak preview to another song, everyone. No, Yellow probably, Glass. I'll probably never do anything with that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of far away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> we I'm are so winding. Sorry. What? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We're winding. No, it's, it's okay. It's all good. It's all gravy. Um, my, Not some of my gravy, though. There's real objects in the world. You have like doors, <laughs> windows, concrete. Actually, all those things are makings of other things. So right. the only bases you got is like dirt and water. Man. Well, you just did a song with yellow glass. I mean, I'm impressed. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's a cool song. You just came out of nowhere with that. Yeah, you should do so. I think I think at some point you should do like a single called Yellow Glass. I'll, I'll do Yellow Glass, but I, I'm afraid it's gonna like disturb a lot of methods. <laughs> <laughs> well, yellow Glass, letting the sun rise in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, so trippy. Yeah. Since uh, last time we heard from Eddie let you close out the show and tell everybody what's the takeaway and what to expect from you on your side. On my side, man, you know, I'm working, I'm grinding, and when I think you're ready to start doing my own thing and doing what I need to do, just know uh, it's going to be decent, it's going to be some fire. So, so if everyone out there wants... Second wanted- Street Stories. <laughs> Second Street Stories. So if everyone wants to know where your songs are at, they just got to go to Drop House? Uh, no, they can go to Trippy E, they can go to, um, we'll, we'll send the link tree, the Drop House link tree has everything, and all the okay. sites and everything, you can post up as a link for your thing to show, um, and on Facebook, uh, Pseudo the Beat Guy, uh, Vince Hecklin, parentheses, Pseudo the Beat Guy also works, uh, Trippy E, same thing, Trippy E. Um, there's a lot of eddies out there. Okay. They're not real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yo, so <laughs> They're not I real. I have a habit of making passwords and forgetting them. Uh huh. I got like 50 Facebooks. <laughs> oh my god. But it wow. doesn't use any of them. So if they start talking to you, it's not, not Eddie. Uh, it's not okay. Eddie. It's love. Well, right. it's a good. I'm glad we figured that out. But thank you. you know. Or is it Eddie? Uh, uh, we're, we're good. <laughs> well, you could say, you know, at, you know, Trippy, you could actually make a song out of that. Since, you know, Pseudo said you could take anything and just make a song out of it. If you got 50 Facebook pages, call it the 50 pages of me. He got one, two, three, four, maybe many more. <laughs> one of them's a Facebook core. The other one's some dude from Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> no, funny about that though, there is a girl that took my one of I know friend. there's one that's an OnlyFans model and there's one that's like a scam artist. <laughs> <laughs> you know you gotta watch out, be right there and check me. Wow. No, I'm and trust me, you don't know which one's going to demand more. <laughs> oh, 50 pages of me, and that's all the more. Yeah. Yeah, I can't rap unless I'm high, so not going to yeah. do it. Wait, you can. 
but 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 you know pseudo gets me hyped up sometimes you can any anyone can that any, way anyone can do it you just gotta let go oh that's it right there let yeah. it go we're yeah working on it. we're working on it it's gonna take <laughs> it's gonna take a couple more of these interviews we're gonna be releasing let it go with <laughs> yeah JR and that's and right that. let it go i remember that <laughs> oh <go>. shit <laughs> just had a moment well all right everyone I, we got we got end this oh that's right pseudo let everybody know where they can find you again what other updates music you got coming out is there's one you, titles you could say i know there's certain things you can't say yeah. but can you give us a hint um second street stories all right uh wade's album awesome you'll, you'll really like living on top and uh you really like kicking it. That's what we showed you tonight. Control you. We'll control you. Yeah. Um, and the future is very prosperous. And keep positivity around you. And um, I love my wife. Nice. Nice. Wow, that's a lot of songs you guys are working on. When do you think you'll get all that done? Tomorrow. Nah. Nah, I love that. No, no, it's impossible. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we're, we're on our way to finishing it. We're almost done with them. The Wade's album, 17 songs. Uh, the Trippy and Pseudo Project, I think it's like eight, maybe ten. And on if we add uh, Let It Go with Jaron Michael, the guy. And um, uh, what was the other one we came up with tonight? Yellow Glass. Yellow Glass. Ah, yeah. okay, nice, nice. Well, everyone, you know how we end the show. We always tell you what's the coffee of the night. So I'll let Trippy E and Pseudo tell you their favorite coffee of the night, and I'll finish it off with my coffee of the night. So go ahead, guys. What's your coffee of the night? Tonight's coffee of the night is that one cup of coffee that's sitting outside 7-Eleven. <laughs> 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 the sun's been kind of sitting on it, so it's still a little warm, even though the sun's been down for hours. Oh my god. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, it's uh the Uganda it's, it's the Atlas Club. Yeah, the Atlas Club Uganda coffee. Um yeah. oh, and what's yours, uh, tri- uh Trippy? It's the same one. Same one? Lavaz, you don't Lavaz is good coffee. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, what... But it gotta be one you guys like... kinda like. Like you you really it's like you go to gasoline. Hey! There oh, we go. I like that type of thing. Oh, yeah. Yo, I like the frappuccinos with the espresso oh. shots in it. You get it from one and stuff. Now we're singing music. <laughs> or you go to Dunkin' Donuts and you get like the iced coffee. And you, uh-huh. put, and you ask for two extra shots of mocha and then you put two extra shots of espresso in it. And then like you don't have to add sugar to it because the mocha is really sweet. And then you just boom. Right there. Oh, wow. And the mocha also works like a cream because it does like that kind of like, I don't know, makes the consistency. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Well, tonight I can't beat these guys. They told you pretty much a library of coffee. The only thing I'm drinking is the old man Americano. Just milk and sugar and coffee, straight up. All right, everyone. That's the show for tonight. We're signing out. Thank you for listening to Make That Bloody Movie with Coffee. And it was a pleasure having you guys on. We'll definitely have you guys on when one of your albums drop. And ladies and gentlemen, check them out on Facebook, Spotify, SoundCloud, and Pseudo will be sending me the link tree to Trippy E. And thank you, Trippy E, for coming on. It's a pleasure talking with you. And I look forward to having more interviews as well. All right, everyone. You have a wonderful night. Take care, guys.
yeah. Uh, I, I wanted to write a movie about like about it, but it would have been like a trippy psychedelic like uncut gems. <laughs> no, I think that would <laughs> be great. About drug dealing and kids trying drugs for the first time, but like where parts of the family are on drugs and they're in a house that sells drugs, but they're trying drugs for the first time. And wow. 